This is Cody with Liquid Laboratory Studio. Today we'll show you how not to crash your new Phantom 4 Pro drone. First thing you want to do is inspect the housing. You want to look for any cracks, bends, or breaks. Uh, it could have happened in flight or when re during resting. And then you look below, make sure all the screws are in while you're inspecting for cracks. Then you move on to the battery. You want to push it, make sure it has bars. Um, this one's good enough, but it should be four bars before you fly it. Next thing, uh, just hit the button once and it comes up as four bars, which is good. The next thing you want to do is look at the actual um, antennas here. Um, these are the antennas. They make up the landing gear and make sure they're intact and not loose and not broken because you'll lose signal. A little bit about the antennas, how the science of it works. These actually work parallel. So the aircraft will be up here and it sends a signal. So you want these uh, antennas in alignment, parallel. Um, the worst actual uh, position could be is when the tips are actually facing the aircraft. There's literally almost no signal because there's no surface area. So kind of a rule of thumb is if you're at a distance, you'll actually have the antennas facing like this. Or if you know you're going to be flying kind of close and, and, and overhead, this, as you can see, kind of just splits the difference. Then you want to inspect the blades. Uh, these blades are actually made out of a plastic composite. They're pretty strong. Um, I was grabbing the drone out of a bush once and it, it sliced my finger pretty good. Better than losing your drone though. So on this blade you have actually what's the leading edge, which is this fat part, and the trailing edge. So you just want to inspect it make sure it's smooth. Look for damage. And then on here, you actually have a black ring and a silver ring. The silver and the white will line up, and the black with the black dots located right here in the center will line up. Um, so when you put the blades on, you will turn them the direction of the arrows, the lock, and then you'll check them and make sure they're in place. And another thing is these can actually, you can purchase guards for these. Some of them disable the sensors on these, and other ones don't. Um, so when you go to get guards, make sure you get the ones that don't disable the obstacle avoidance systems. And now we're going to check, inspect the gimbal. So you want to remove the gimbal cover and check it for motion, mobility, look for any kind of damage, cracks, check the wires. It's good. And we'll go into the app. Inside the app, you'll be able to actually do some calibrations. There's the IMU, which checks the, the motion and momentum of the uh, aircraft. It's kind of like a gyro. And then you also have these visual sensors. On the Phantom 4 Pro, it has them on the front, the bottom, and the rear. And it also has other sensors on the sides. So it actually has six axes of sensors. And also down at the bottom, you have these two sonar for telling distance away from the ground. And the other thing is never grab or pull or hold the aircraft by the antennas. You can actually damage the aircraft or send it plummeting into the ground. Uh, make sure you land it and take it off and you're standing at a distance. It'll self-land, but there's some uh, aviation science behind that. First thing you want to do is make sure you're in an open area, a field is preferred, and um, you want to power everything up. Press once and hold the button, and you'll open the DJI app, and you'll power up the controller. Right now the gimbal is doing its calibration test. ready to go fly. All right, so we're going to keep the aircraft in line of sight um, so you can see it and it's a safety thing. And also inside the app, it disables uh, over 400 feet high, so you have to keep it under 400 feet. And it will go out as far as you have radio signal, but you definitely want to keep an eye on it. Um, inside there, there's a beginner mode. and. In the beginner mode, you can actually, it'll be a limited space, so you can practice flying. So what the app is doing right now, it's calibrating the vision sensors. And we're ready to launch. Put the two thumbsticks together and get in the air. Wait 
so you get the return to home walk on you. Thank you for watching. Click here to subscribe.